Let's bring in CBS's Robert Costa for more on tonight's races. Such an interesting night because we get to hear from the voters, right? And we also have this exit poll data about what are priorities for people. What's the Trump team looking at tonight? Nora, we're already hearing from the voters and just got some new exit polling information here at CBS News, and it shows some warning signs for former President Donald Trump. In North Carolina, for example, 78 percent of Nikki Haley supporters say to CBS News they could not support the Republican nominee if it ends up being Donald Trump. That shows among traditional Republicans in North Carolina and elsewhere, many concerns about Trump's conduct. So as Trump tries to perhaps pivot towards the general election tonight, he still has some work to do in shoring up GOP support. He will win big tonight, but we're going to be looking to see how much of that Republican vote or independent vote Nikki Haley gets. What about the Biden team? They're watching suburban turnout. Can they try to win over some of those Haley voters? And look for three themes from the Biden campaign. You're going to see a real focus on reproductive rights, Vice President Harris out there. You're going to see Biden talking about January 6th, speaking to those Nikki Haley supporters, saying he's a defender of democracy. And you're going to see him try to talk to working Americans, knowing that Trump's winning many of them over with his message on the border, on the economy. He wants to make sure union voters in particular are sticking with Biden. Yeah, we've heard that tonight. It's a top issue for Republican voters and independents, the economy, immigration. And of course, Biden's got the State of the Union on Thursday night. We'll be watching. Robert Costa, thank you. And CBS News is going to have complete coverage of Super Tuesday throughout the night on CBS News streaming and continuing right here on CBS at 10 p.m. Eastern. We hope to see you then.